Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back. First of all, we want to thank you all for the support you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to help everyone learn about mental health and psychology in a digestible manner. Now, let's begin. Have you ever experienced intense periods of anxiety for some unknown reason? Perhaps you felt nauseous or numb all of a sudden. These are panic attacks and it typically lasts for a few minutes, but it can be incredibly fatiguing and scary. It's likely you'll experience a few panic attacks in your lifetime. However, if you experience these intense and stressful episodes frequently, you may end up developing a panic disorder. So here are seven signs of a panic disorder. Before we begin, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis. If you suspect you may have a panic disorder or any mental health condition, we highly advise you to seek help from a qualified mental health professional. Number one, symptoms of a panic attack. Have you experienced an intense feeling of fear and dread or felt suddenly lightheaded? Symptoms like these and others like a rapid heart rate, chills, pain in the chest or stomach are some of the typical effects of a panic attack. While you may have experienced these symptoms in isolated instances, it may potentially develop into a panic disorder when they become more frequent. Number two, you have recurrent and frequent panic attacks. How many times have you had a panic attack? According to the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, it's considered a panic disorder if you have one or more panic attacks followed by a month of intense fear of future attacks. While the number, intensity, and duration of a panic attack can vary from person to person, experiencing a large number of panic attacks in a short period of time is a cause for concern. Number three, you avoid things that may trigger your anxiety. Have you become afraid to do certain things like driving in fear you'll have a panic attack during those things? You may exhibit avoidant behavior to avert potential triggers. In some cases, People with a panic disorder are sometimes seen to also have agoraphobia, which is the fear and avoidance of certain places and situations. This can make daily life much more difficult and scary to navigate. Number four, the attacks are not the result of another disorder. Are your panic attacks caused by stress and triggers or are they a physical health issue? The cause of panic attacks may not always be apparent, Hypothyroidism, heart issues, and breathing problems may show similar symptoms to a panic attack. Similarly, consuming caffeine, alcohol, and nicotine may also have a similar effect. It's important to ask your doctor as they may help you determine whether your panic attacks are symptoms of a physical illness or due to a panic disorder. Number five, irrational fear of dying. Did you know that your anxiety is a natural reflex to danger? While it may have been helpful to your survival in the past, such as telling you to run away from an attack by an animal, it can be ineffective and exhausting when the source of your anxiety today can't be physically fought and defeated. If you constantly experience irrational thoughts about your life being threatened or intense periods of stress where you feel like you may be in harm's way, this may be a sign of a panic disorder. Number six, fear of losing control or going crazy. Have you ever felt very overwhelmed all of a sudden? Maybe you're having trouble breathing properly or the things you see are starting to spin. If you are unaware of the symptoms of a panic attack, you may not know that you're going through one. This may make you feel like you're suddenly losing control or going crazy. So if you have reoccurring experiences where you feel like you're losing control, you may be having a panic attack or have a panic disorder. Number seven, feelings of detachment and unreality. Have you ever felt numb as if the people and places around you seem unreal or detached. Sometimes with a panic disorder, you may experience depersonalization, which is detachment from yourself, and derealization, which is detachment from your surroundings. The numbness you may feel when interacting with others, your environment, and even with yourself can be unpleasant and maybe distressing to your daily life. So have you experienced any of the signs mentioned? Tell us about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too. All of the references used are also added in the description box below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon for more Psych2Go content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.